Hey folks, Mr. Allen and Libby here. Um, we're wanting to talk to you about heart rate training zones, aren't we? Mm. And what do they look like without the use of a heart rate monitor? How are we going to do it? We're going to put Mr. Allen on the bike to show you exactly what it looks like to go through each of the heart rate zones. And Libby is going to do the video, aren't you? Yeah! Okay, so I'm set up on the bike, I've warmed up. Um, I've got my camera person on tow, my fabulous director Libby Allen, and uh, I'm sitting nicely and comfortably in zone one. So this is a, an active recovery zone, so we want to be in this zone uh, for warming up and for cooling down, but it's no effort at all. As I move into zone two, this is the endurance zone, the zone we want to operate mainly our uh, full training within, um, and that's uh, more kind of rhythmic breathing as you can hear, I can hold a, a conversation but uh, I'm having to take a little, little bits of uh, breath here and there. As I move through into zone three, this is what we call the tempo stage, so um, slightly laboured breath as I'm talking away there. Um, you can see that, I'm going to work much harder as the intensity is uh, increasing um, and it's just uh, getting a bit harder. Okay, so uh, without concentration I'd fall back down into zone 2 here. As I move through into zone 4 or the threshold zone, so this is the, the, the sort of maximum heart rate I could possibly maintain, say for an hour uh, on tow, uh, this is the kind of rate I need to work at. So I'm hitting near my end, in my top end, but I can get a few words here and there, but I'm having to concentrate and really work hard. And then the last zone, zone 5, is what we call above threshold, so it's above anything I could maintain for a few hours, and uh, I'm working really hard, you can see that, putting lots of effort through the muscles, and um, you can get the odd word out, but I'm only sitting at the bottom end of my five. zone 5, okay. I really work at it, I wouldn't be able to do that. Okay, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. That's me off the bike, showered, uh, refreshed, uh, ready to go again. Um, I thought it'd be also useful just to quickly recap on each of the um, the heart rate training zones that I, I've just uh, put myself through um, and associate that with Taekwondo training. Um, so if we look at zone one, the recovery zone, um, again, it's... it's uh, it's a nice easy heart rate zone to work within, so we should be uh, certainly using that during warm-ups, building up into the other zones, and certainly at the end of a class, um, starting to cool down, we want to get ourselves down into zone one. Um, and also it's a good zone to work within um, the day after a, a hard session as well, so it's really good for your body and your muscles to work within that zone thereafter. Um, zone two, the endurance um, training zone, so we want to spend the majority of our time in there, we want to try and um, um, keep within there just to uh, build on our base fitness. It's not so hard that it's uncomfortable, but we are actually having to work harder than obviously the the recovery things. So uh, you can hold a a conversation, but you're you're having to um, uh, work at that a little bit. Okay, you'll know. Once you move into zone three, uh, the aerobic uh, capacity or tempo zone, then uh, you're you're starting to really. Um, work a bit harder obviously than, than zone two um it's it's probably comfortably hard that's that's probably the best way of describing that um whereas when you move into zone four um the threshold zone or lactic threshold zone then you're starting to get up towards 90 percent your maximum heart rate so um it's probably best used for interval training with with periods of kind of active recovery thereafter so um we want to hit kind of zone four and even zone five with um, your kind of threshold or above threshold or VO2 max sort of area where uh, we're, we're sparring, you've got to explode into into um, into action, you know, hitting pad works, jumping, uh, you know, all the sprint intervals type work we do during class. So that that's us hitting zones four and five, but you want to facilitate them with periods of uh, active recovery. Um, you certainly can't maintain, you know, these zones four and five for long periods of time. So, and uh, they're much shorter, you know, minutes worth over an entire class rather than than hours. So, um, uh, yeah. So hopefully you find that useful. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, until next time. <laughs>